Welcome to the Bowling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Duffy Dillon. Now Duffy is in charge of all of our insulating and it's actually the, the craftsman behind it. So just uh, it is a craft and you do a super job. So glad to hang out with you today. Um, now at, about a year ago um, we actually did a Boiling Point and Duffy was on there so you can check that out. You can see that probably down in a corner somewhere on the, on the video. All right, well, we want to talk about insulation again. We've just uh, got our Boiler University lab, and Duffy has spent a lot of time in here to insulate um, a lot of stuff. And I'd like to talk a little bit about that stuff. First of all, why in the world would you insulate all this in here? The reason you would insulate is uh, energy savings. It helps the, uh, everything run smoother. Uh, you don't have to build the, the temperature up as fast because everything's contained in, um, in the insulation. You know, this is a big old tank, um, and, and if you don't have insulation on here, I mean, how, how hot does it actually get around, around that tank? Yeah, it can fill up the room hot air, and if you don't have insulation on, it also is the touching point, um, mm. uh, personnel protection. Right. Somebody comes up there and touches this, they're going to be in trouble. You know is, isn't I mean? there a height or something that I you think it should have? Seven foot is the okay. actual height. Everything above seven foot below is, is uh, everything yes. below seven foot needs to be insulated yes, for just for making sure that we don't have any type of burns and people stepping over something or what have you. That's right. Okay. That's right. Well, those, in, you know, this also saves some money. Uh, saves money. When, yeah. When the you cost, do that. Yes. Because yeah, if cost. you're losing all the heat, you actually have steam that, right. uh, you know, you're having to have to generate more when you're losing that heat. So right. it holds that heat in there. Correct. Right. Your payback would be, you know, on something like this would be a year, you know, so. So typical payback that you're seeing out there is about a year. Today. About a year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. On so a typical boiler room. We've done some of the insulation on tanks, but um, we also have over here, we've got some other insulation that you do. What, That's right. what else do you have? Uh, steam piping. We do uh, tons of steam piping, um, city water uh, for freeze protection and stuff like that. Mm. Um, anything that's hot and cold. We do, we do from ammonia pipes to steam to condensate to duct work. Anything that's hot and cold we can do. Anything. We, what about storage tanks? Anything. Yeah. yeah. Storage I mean, tanks is what big is storage big tanks. as you can we can do them. Yeah. You know. Okay. Big as you can dream we can do. Right. Because I mean sometimes you think about the, the insulation for obviously the heat, but as you just mentioned, you said something about cold. Right. Um, right. And that obviously got freeze protection. I know on our rental boilers, yep. you guys um, will come in and insulate and get mm -hmm. everything um, uh, steam traced and, and, and insulated there. That's right. Yeah. And then also uh, chill water, you know, chill mm -hmm. water sweats, condensates and with the insulation it doesn't condensate as much. Right. So what else you got? What do you got here? We got an insulation blanket. Um, these have been pretty popular lately. Um, a lot of customers want them. They want them because they can get in and out of them. Pure maintenance guys don't feel like, you know, most of the time they'll just rip the insulation off, leave it on the ground, and it'll right. go in the trash. If you have right. something like this, you can just undo the straps, pull the Velcro off, it comes apart, and you just put it back on. Mm. Any, anybody can do it, you know, just like tying a shoe or you know, any maintenance guy. Right. And you can reuse these often, you know, as, as many times as you want. I've seen these things last up to 10 to 12 years. Mm. So. And, and not only as a, a, something like that, but uh, for valves, we have yeah. blankets up here, even yeah. on, um, on a boiler. We usually put them on, the, on there because then valves get replaced. So instead of ripping off all the hard insulation, we use a blanket mm. and they, they work very well. What about the FGR? What, what are we doing here? FGR is for the gases, I believe. So mm -hmm. it takes the gases and moves back to the boiler mm -hmm. and keeps that at, at temperature. He said he believes. I believe. He believes. <laughs> he believes he's, an ins he's insulated, that's right? right. All right. right. So exhaust that's gas, obviously, he's got some heat to it. Right. And so we're certainly wanting to make sure that we're, uh, we're insulating that as right. well. Right. Um, any other things around here that you see? That, um, um, we got all the steam pipes done, the city water. Um, there's a blow down over there. Mm. The, pin, the pin separator, I believe. Yep. Uh, we do all them as well. But like I said, anything from hot to cold, we can do it, you know. Yeah. Anything. And, and the thing that's interesting to me is, you know, you made a comment, you know, when you say a, a year payback. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, I don't think that folks really understand that that man if they just insulate that whatever that cost is that you get it back in a year yeah that's a that's a pretty pretty good payback most yeah. people look at the 
you know, 18 to 36 months payback before they do something. And, and we're talking about, you know, typically we can do that, you know, in 12 months. Well, I wanted to introduce Jacob Barnett. Jacob is actually our manager on the insulating side. And, you know, if you are getting insulation done, you know, we do insulating in our area, but all around the country. If you're actually getting the insulation done, you should do some type of an energy calculation, save, savings calculation, correct? That's right. We have two kind of reports that we're running right now. We do uh, energy savings calculation where we show actually the cost per square foot uh, of your tank or a cost per foot for a condensate line, steam line, feed water line. And then we also have a report, it's called uh, an emission savings report. Mm. And we show actually a reduction in emissions per foot of CO2 for each item that we're insulating. So okay. if your company's interested in emission savings, reducing carbon footprint, we can actually show a total savings per pound of carbon emissions. Wow, so you are asked to come in and you put this, this together. What are you looking for? What are you doing? Okay, on your screen, you'll see on our energy savings report, we have high, highlighted the item description, which in this case is a steam line. And what we'll look for is your process temperature, your ambient temperature, the wind speed, the fuel type that you're using at your plant, your fuel cost per MCF, if it's natural gas in this case, the hours you operate per year, the pipe size and the metal used for the pipe. Down below in our chart, you can see in this case, it's three inch pipe and we are, if it is bare pipe, the cost of fuel per foot is $37.93 per year. With two inch insulation, it's actually only $2.56 per foot per year. So that's a savings of $35.37 per foot of pipe. So as you can see on your screen, we really had a significant savings with two inches of insulation on a steam pipe. And so typically steam pipe, I know we uh, talked with Duffy a little bit about a 12 month savings on tanks, but steam pipe could actually even be more. Correct, for a three inch steam pipe, like we showed in the example, you're looking at more of a six month payback for say a hundred foot of three inch steam pipe. Awesome. Well, make sure that you uh, check with your local folks that are doing insulating out there in uh, the U.S., of course, but in our area, um, Jacob is your, is your guy, and he would be uh, glad to come out and actually give you some of this um, information for you to just see, you know, what type of savings that would be there. Appreciate it, and we will see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, as you can see, insulation is something that is really important, not hot because it's insulated. Ah, see, I got you. But we, we really appreciate these guys, what they do, and uh, something so simple can actually save you an awful lot of money. Well, make sure that you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you like our videos, and many of you do, and you're commenting, and we appreciate it, keep sharing those videos out there. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.